if you're sitting there thinking I'm not okay but you feel embarrassed about it or you just don't know what to do this video is for you Katie, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't already know me, I am a mum of three and on my channel I post videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised. I post every single Sunday so please do subscribe so that you get notified of new content and I'd love it if you commented below so that I can get to know you. Now you haven't seen me looking this terrible in a very long time, mainly because I've been on this very long journey of self-discovery, and self-awareness and most days I feel absolutely great. This morning I got up and I'm tired. I went out last night with some girlfriends and I just thought, you know what, I can't be bothered. can't be bothered to get dressed and I wanted to show you that the glamorous YouTubers that you see all of the time, that's not real life. Like that's them putting on whatever mask they feel that they need to get through the day. We all do it. I'm not saying it's just them. I'm just saying, don't look at them and think, oh, they look amazing. You can look amazing too if you put on all the makeup. So don't judge yourself by their standards. This is what I look like without any makeup. Remnants of yesterday's makeup. Haven't done my hair. I've literally just put on my tracky bees and my t-shirt. And I look a state and it doesn't even matter because it's a Sunday. But I wanted to show you this is fine. You're all, you're allowed to look like this. Nobody cares. Nobody cares at all. So the purpose of this video is to let you know that it is okay not to be okay. It is okay to have down days. It is okay to struggle. It is okay to not feel like you're completely in control of the situation because we've all been there. I've been there. I'm there, you know, I'm I'm not perfect. I don't have everything under control. And there are some days where I just feel really overwhelmed and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know like the best decision. I, I'm not in control and I feel like my life is spiraling out of control. But what I want to do for you today is to give you a few ideas on how to recenter yourself and take back control of the situation that you are in. So number one, which I think actually is the most important out of all of them. So if you ignore everything else that I say, please, please take on board the first tip, which is take five minutes for yourself every single day, not just once a week, not just every now and again, every single day, whether that be five minutes in the bathroom, brushing your teeth and just going to the toilet in peace or putting makeup on or five minutes of just shutting the door on it all and just sitting there in absolute silence. Just take five minutes. Don't let your cup of tea get cold. Drink it hot-ish. I don't know, I don't drink tea or coffee so I don't know how hot you want it, but just drink it while it's not cold. You deserve those five minutes. If you can do 10 minutes, 15 minutes, amazing. But a minimum, a minimum of five minutes a day. My five minutes a day, every single day, is putting my face on. It makes me feel so much better. See, so much better. And it literally took me five minutes. My hair, I always twist up so that when it comes down, it looks curly so I don't have to do anything for it. Literally five minutes and I feel so much better. I feel like myself again. Tip number two is something that I have been doing probably the last six months or so is writing a gratitude journal. It really helps to focus your mind on what is positive in your life rather than always comparing yourself to others or thinking that your life is terrible. We're all guilty of it. We're always wanting more, wishing we had better things and whatever. Writing a gratitude journal, even if you just write one thing, one good thing that happened today, one good thing in your life, it just makes you think, okay, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. I have got positive things in my life that keep me going. I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to gratitude journals so I thought I would share a few with you in case you haven't got one or you want a new one and you're a hoarder like me. Um, so this one 
the gratitude journal um and i'll pop links down below this one's really lovely it um you know it gives you quotes and things like that um and so every single day it says the thing that i'm most grateful for today and the reason and then even more wonderful things i'm grateful for today are um and you write them down um and it's just every single day just you know one thing i like writing more things because the more things i'm writing the better i feel my favorite though is this one and i've mentioned it before it's the six minute diary um, and I like it because you do it twice a day. You do it once in the morning and once in the, after, uh, the evening at bedtime. So this is today's. So it says, I am grateful for a lion. Got a lion today. Family time. It's a Sunday. So we're going to have some family time this afternoon and rainy days. I'm really enjoying that it's pouring with rain outside because it's meant to be autumn and we're having heat wave it's just not right this is how i'm going to make today great and my positive affirmation which i'm going to come to them in a minute um change how you view your life it's not really an affirmation but it was something to remind myself but then you reflect on the day at the end of the day and i just i really really like this one number three is positive affirmations it's so important to like pump yourself up, give yourself something to like hang your day on. And so every single morning I wake up and I do the miracle morning. I will do another video on that another time. Google it, the miracle morning, I recommend doing it. But part of that is that I do positive affirmations, one specific to me, one that may be specific for the day. Um, and so I have little books i've got one and i'll if i can find it i will link it just little things this one says don't give up don't lose hope don't sell out and it you know it's got whoever said it this one it's christopher reeve if you cannot do great things do small things in a great way napoleon hill and he um is an author believe in yourself and you can achieve greatness in your life judy bloom and just saying these things saying these quotes and saying things like i can achieve great things it just rewires your brain into thinking that way you know if you get up in the morning like oh i don't even want to get up it's a rubbish day i mean that's not going to set you up for a good day is it whereas if you get up and you're like you're really tired you're like yes i'm going to get through today i'm going to have the best day you're going to have a better day than if you hadn't have said that tip number four is turn up the music and have a little dance don't really need to elaborate on that one but just moving your body listening to your favorite favorite tunes it just lifts your spirit and makes you feel better it reconnects you to your past per you know from years ago when you used to dance to that song in a club or it brings back a memory of your first wedding dance or whatever it just takes you back to a time of happier days and it sets you free like in that moment you're just free and it just really does lift your mood tip number five and something that i really do love doing and i just i don't do it enough is going for a walk just getting out of the house it doesn't matter what the weather is just get out on your own preferably but if you can't then just go somewhere really spacious where you can set the kids and the dogs free or whatever you know you don't have to talk to anyone you're just walking and enjoying whatever's around you doesn't matter if it's countryside or streets of new york just just don't talk to anyone and just be walking and don't look at your phone just that your mind can just think through whatever it is that's troubling you and it helps to clarify things if you're away from the washing and the ironing and the dishwasher and the mess just get out go for a walk sometimes when you're overwhelmed with life you just need something to focus on so tip number six is to make a plan whether that is to book a holiday i've got friends who really really need to book that holiday for the summer holidays just to have something to look forward to um or whether it's to make a plan that on monday you're going to go into town and you're going to buy a gratitude journal or just at the weekend make a plan to go for a long walk with your family just make plans book yourself in to have your nails done book yourself in to have a makeup consultation at a mac counter you know it's free do something that 
gives you something to look forward to you know it's why people look forward to christmas it gives them hope in the dreary months so make a plan make a plan to see a friend make a plan to go somewhere just it, it gives you something to look forward to to see it written down and counting down those days until you do that thing just gives us something to look forward to and that's what we that's what we need so my final tip tip number seven is to share your problems I don't care who you talk to. I don't care whether it's your dog. I don't care if you write it down in a journal. I don't care if you talk to a friend, go to a doctor if you feel like this problem is bigger. That it's not just, a, you know, I'm having a down week. It's I've had a down six months. Go to the doctor then. But I don't care who you talk to. Just please talk to somebody. I'm here and I say this so many times and i pe have people message me going i don't know if you really meant it i did mean it i do mean it message me if you feel overwhelmed if you feel like there's nowhere to go there's no one to turn to and you don't feel okay please share with somebody and i would be honored if you would be sharing it with me um and i'm there i'm there i am a shoulder to lean on so lean on me lean on a friend lean on the doctor and just get it out because festering about it believe me is no good to anybody you need to share what it is building up in your head whether it's just you feel anxious about going out you feel completely swamped by life anything just that you just feel miserable every single day when you wake up and nothing is making you feel better you've tried all the other six tips nothing is working you need to talk to somebody about it. I spoke to somebody, I spoke to a friend, and then I did end up speaking to a doctor as well. And it just is a, it's just a weight off your shoulder. You instantly feel relief that you have just accepted that you did need to speak to somebody. There was something worth talking about. Believe me, it is worth talking about. So if you're not okay, it's okay to not be okay. And I hope those tips are useful. And I honestly, honestly, with all my heart, mean it that you can message me if you need to. I'll be back next week with another upload. So I will see you then. Bye.